Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to take a look at adding in our VR hands using a new package I've created to make it super easy for you to get up and running in VR. Let's take a look. So we're going to continue our work in our lab and you don't actually need the environment to follow along with this tutorial. I'm just going to show you the new VR package I've made for your hands so you can just import it, hook them up to your XR origin and off you go. You should have your hands up and running. This is going to be like the first one of our escape room style kind of VR experience. And it's all going to take place in this lab and there'll be a, a series of puzzles you have to complete in order to escape the lab and leave before it blows up. Sounds pretty dramatic. Um, but so up to date, up until now, we've just been doing kind of more arcadey style VR experiences. And I think it'd be a great opportunity to do something more puzzle based. Uh, and we can see how we can interact with some things in VR uh, to create that kind of experience. So let's have a look at this one and just simply adding in our hands. And I thought about the best way to do this. And I thought rather than just kind of show you, like go through the process of showing you how the hands were made, creating the scripts. Uh, if I just like give you the package and then you can have a look and see yourself how it's all kind of put together. For me, it's kind of the, one of those fundamental things. I don't know why you don't get like your hands or a set of hands with the XR Interaction Toolkit. But there you go. But I'll show you how we can use the package I made to very quickly get hands up and running. And this will work in any project. All you need to make sure is that you followed along with the other tutorial uh, and you've got the XR Interaction Toolkit already installed along with the samples as well that comes with the XR Interaction Toolkit for the, the new action-based input system. So if you haven't seen that video, then check it out. It'll be the first one in, in the playlist for this new series. But once all that's set up, all you need to do, right-click and import package, custom package, and then we want you want to navigate to wherever you've got the VR Hands 2022 package. And you'll get this import Unity package window, and it'll ask you to bring in some samples. That's cool. They'll already add to what you've got. It's not going to overwrite them. And it's going to come with the VR hands package, which is the same as it was kind of last year, but I just updated it to actually work properly because um, I know some of you are having some issues with like it wasn't releasing the grips, but all this should be fine. And it comes with the script as well um, already assigned to it, ready to detect inputs. So it'll animate the hands. So go ahead and leave that all ticked by default and go ahead and then click import. And once that's imported, you'll see the VR hands folder in the root of your project under assets. And in here, we have a prefabs section. Uh, you've got left hand and right hand. Now at the moment, this project is running in the standard 3D render pipeline. It's not using the URP yet, which we might do at a later date. Um, but for now, it's got just got the default shaders on there. So I'll show you how easy it is to get this up and running. I'm literally going to um, expands the XR origin and then camera offset and you've got the left hand controller and the right hand controller which at the moment are using the line renderers and the XR ray interactor doesn't matter for a minute all we're going to do is drop in the left hand to the left hand controller and drop in the right hand to the right hand controller and that is it so let's have a look let's jump into VR have it around our lab and see if our hands are working so in our lab looking awesome uh, and then we've got our hands in front of us, and you can see here uh, that it's all connected and working out just straight away. Press the grip, it makes a fist. Does it dependent on how much you're pressing the button, as to how much you're making a fist, and also the pinches as well. So that's all working, that's all cool. Let me run you through the script quickly, just so you know what's going on. So we'll go ahead and click on the left hand. You can see it's got uh, an animator on there that's controlling the animation and the hand animation script as well. So I'll double click on that and open up in Visual Studio. So here's the hand animation script and this is literally where everything is driven from. And uh, we've got our using statements at the top and then we require that the animator is part of the game object that the script is attached to, which it is. And then we've got two input action references and these are getting hold of the actions that are used when we're gripping and pinching or using the grip and uh, trigger button on our controller. And then we're also getting access to the animator component. Then on enable, we're listening for those actions. So when they're performed, as soon as the grip button's pressed, 
triggers a method called gripping and it sets a float in the animator with a parameter of grip and it passes the current value of the button press. So that value is driving the amount of grip that we're actually performing. And then we continue down and we've got the same for the pinch. So we're listening for the pinch actions when they're released and when they're formed. And then it's literally just a, a couple of methods to pass those values to the animator. So really nice and simple. So in the next video, what we want to do is have a look at actually using our thumbsticks to be able to control whether we're teleporting or not. And that's going to involve a little bit of logic in our XR origin and which kind of interactors are active and not active because we'll need to toggle on the XRA interactor for the teleport and then we just want to go back to the normal direct interactors on our hands when we're not teleporting. Uh, and that might be a little bit of a bigger video, which is why I kind of wanted to get the import of the hands out of the way uh, and you can kind of see how, how that's all working before we go into something a little bit more tricky next time. That reflection looks sweet. Like that.